Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Jasmine Katrina and today we are doing, as you can tell from the title, a get ready with me testing a new foundation and wear test. So if you wanna see how this all comes together, then you definitely wanna keep watching. Hey you guys, let's get started. So today we're gonna do a wear test on the NARS Light Reflecting Serum Foundation. So yeah, if you watch my recent vlogs, a couple of vlogs ago, um, I mentioned that I picked up some new things for support and this is the Light Reflecting Foundation. I am in the shade Iguaku, which is the same foundation shade that I am in in the NARS Soft Matte um, Foundation. So I went ahead and got the same thing. It looks like it's gonna be a good size match. So let's get started. So like I said, oops, this is gonna be a testing new products and a wear test. So I am working today and then I'm going out for dinner and drinks for a happy hour. So at the time of this video, it is 8.30 something. And I know I'm gonna be out for well over 12 hours. So we'll get a full day's wear and I'll also check in midday like I did in my last video. So you can see how it looks in different lighting and at different times of the day. So face is pretty much done skincare wise. We're gonna go ahead and I am going to use the milk, the mattifying milk hydro grip primer. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and use this one again, um, just so I can get a second feel. I really can't tell when it comes to primers how they last and feel outside of the hydro grip because um, that's sticky. But this is more of like a cream, so I'm going to go ahead and. So this is the Jason Wu brow pencil. So let's go in with the Anastasia brow freeze. I don't know if this means it's not good <laughs> because when you first buy it, this thing is clear and uh, it's now white. I don't know. I'm, I don't think it's bad though, but just interesting. So. and just do a light amount at the top. Okay, so I brought you guys a little closer so you can see it. So I'm gonna go ahead and apply some here. And let's just see if I need to add more. Hopefully y'all can get the light. Let me move y'all. I feel like it's just so dark. I don't know if that helped, but let's, you know, we go. Yeah, this feels better. Okay, we had to switch it up. So this is what it looks like in natural lighting. Wow, we use the, um, the lip bar for that under eye concealer. I'll probably use one more of like the elf or the tart but we're gonna start here okay and then so this is my concealer brush i think i got some elf and this is what we're gonna use to just blend same thing on this side i'm gonna get the sides of your nose okay i'm not taking your foundation brush this is what you're gonna use to buff out that line of demarcation so that way it's not like a crazy blend it's just right there okay so I went ahead and added a little more off camera but I'm just gonna deepen this up a little bit so I'm gonna go in with the makeup revolution foundation uh, stick in shade f18 you guys know I use this all the time. I'm gonna use it against my nose. So taking this out of the brush, we're gonna just do a little bit of a poke, poke, poke. You don't need a lot. And that's what we're gonna use the contour. So right here, we're gonna go all the way up and under the brow, just like that. Just like that, under the brow. And then all the way down. 
So taking the Elf Cosmetics Putty Blush, this is in the shade, this is like Caribbean something, but taking a sponge, put that right here. Really good. Wow, my brows looking great. Okay, so for eyeshadow, let's get into it. I'm gonna take an all over shader brush. And I like mixing some of these browns so that way it's not too dark for daytime, but it's like just right for it. You know, whatever you want to do for the whole day. Like I'm gonna be in the house most of the day, but then I'm going now and so I don't have to touch up my makeup. Mm -hmm. And we'll add it to the back. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Your girl's feeling a little, a little shimmer. Cause we're definitely wearing lashes. I hope y'all knew that. You probably knew that. For lips, we're gonna do the Juvia's Place Brownie. I mean, y'all knew that already. But I did pick up a new brownie, a new lip liner, so another option's coming soon. Now for lip color options, the cool lips is by Jo Michelle Pro and the shade Tamarind, which is a nice, pretty summer orange. I think I do want my claw clip black. I'm just gonna take a little bit of hair from the front. This is, I'm not even gonna lie, this is really cute. <laughs> okay, y'all. I love this. Oh, this came out so pretty. Got a little claw clip action, like the effortless look, no look. So I'm just doing little hoops. This is really cute. I love this. So hopefully you enjoyed this. I'm again I'm gonna do a wear test. So I will check back in with you guys in the middle of the day and then check back in again at the end of the night when I'm out in all the festivities. Make sure you stay tuned for the vlog so you can see what we're doing tonight. And yeah, I really like this. So I hope you do too. Okay, you guys, so this is a check-in for the makeup. Um, I've only touched up my lips literally like five minutes ago. So everything else I have not touched. It has held up incredibly well. Um, foundation wise, it feels good. It's not like my face doesn't feel dry or anything. I am gonna do one more layer of setting spray just to really hold it. Cause I don't know if we're gonna sit outside in my little activities for tonight. Um, it looks good. I feel good. Makeup is hitting. Um, at the time of this, it is five something. Let me double check. It should be five something at this point. No, just kidding. It's 426. <laughs> so. Yeah, and I did my my makeup at 8.30 this morning, or like rough around 8 something, so yeah. So I will check back in with you guys at the end of the night so we can see how it holds up in like outside conditions because it does feel a little warm outside, but nothing like too hot or humid. But yeah, so far so good. I'll see y'all in a little bit, you guys. So I am finally back home after a night out with some friends. It is 11.37 and this is the final wear test. So. I am starting to break out, but just ignore that. But makeup is a little shiny, but it held up really well. Um, similarly to the Yummy Skin, I just like the longer you wear makeup, your natural oils will start to build up on your face. So that's where the shine is coming from. But outside of the shine, like it feels really good still. It looks great still. Um, so no problems there. Just um, so yeah. So I think. We are all set. I just want to get under the light here, but yeah, so I think we are all set. So I'm going to wrap up this video here. So thank you so much for watching this testing new makeup and this new foundation wear test. I'm starting to like these a little bit just to give you more of a realistic way that the makeup will hold throughout the day. So 
Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. If you um, comment below, let me know what you think about the foundation. Would you try it? Are you, how do you feel about Life Serum Foundation? How do you feel about NARS? Let me know in the comments. Let's talk about it. And until not, next time, friends, and until next time, friends, be well, do well, and be safe. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.